大家好 I'm Martin, and welcome to Short Stories, brought to you by the National Taichung University of Science and Technology Language Center. Today's short story is called "The Nixie." It is a、uh, story about a magical creature that lives in a mill pond and makes a deal with the miller. This is number one hundred eighty-one on the Grimm's list of fairy tales, and I have rewritten the story for you to make it a little bit、uh, shorter and also a little bit more understandable for you, the audience. Before I read the story, I will read the vocabulary and vocabulary example sentences. After the story, I will read four listening comprehension questions. Okay, let's get started. Vocabulary. Mill. Mill. Jack went to the mill to buy some flour. Emerge. Emerge. She emerged from the lake and gave the king a sword. Call it even. Call it even. I paid for dinner last week. You paid for it this week. So let's call it even. Ashamed. Ashamed. He was too ashamed to admit his mistake. Back out. Back out. You told me you would come. You can't back out now. Cliff. Cliff. Many people come here to see the cliffs. Cottage. Cottage. She lives in a cottage at the end of the road. Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. I've never driven a stick shift before, so here goes nothing. Enraged, enraged. The late students enraged the teacher. Don't mention it. Don't mention it. Thanks for your help. Don't mention it. The story. Once upon a time in Germany, there was a miller and his wife. They owned the local mill and, for a while, were very successful. Unfortunately, the miller wasn't very good with money, and he made some bad business decisions. Things got worse and worse for the miller. Just as he was losing money, his wife became pregnant. He didn't know what to do. In his despair. The miller knelt at the edge of the mill pond in the middle of the night and prayed to whatever magical being might be listening. Please grant my wish. In return, I'll give you whatever you ask for. Just then, a water spirit called a nixie emerged from the mill pond. She looked like a pale young woman. Did you say anything? Asked the nixie. I did," replied the miller. "Just make my mill successful, and I'll give you whatever you want." The nixie smiled and said, "Very well. Give me whatever was born in your house today, and we will call it even." The miller, who wasn't a very smart man, thought that the nixie was referring to the kittens that were born in his attic that morning. He agreed to the deal. Then it is done," said the nixie, "and I will return for my payment when it is ready." With that, the nixie disappeared underneath the water. The miller was so happy that he ran to tell his wife the good news. To his shock and horror, he discovered that his wife had given birth early. He was ashamed of himself for making the deal. But there is no backing out of deals made with magical creatures. The miller and his wife raised their new son for many years, which was quite easy thanks to the success of the miller's business. 
Many years passed, and the miller's son grew up to be a very skillful hunter, but just as dim as his dad. His parents constantly warned him about the mill pond, but he always replied, "Yeah, whatever." One day, he went out hunting near the mill pond. He shot and dressed a deer. To wash the blood off his hands, he went to the mill pond. As soon as he reached his hands into the water, the nixie appeared and pulled him under. The miller and his wife were heartbroken when they figured out what had happened, but they were only half as sad as the son's wife, Gerta. The son may have been dim, but his love for his wife was very bright. She cried many nights over her loss. One night, Gerta had a dream. She dreamt of a cottage on top of a cliff. She couldn't understand what it meant until she described the dream to the miller's wife. She said, "Oh, that sounds like Rugen Island. I went there once. I've heard that there's a witch who lives on top of the highest cliff called the King's Chair." Gerta decided to to go there as soon as possible. Gerta went to Rugen Island, found the King's Chair, and began climbing. When she got to the top, she found a cottage that looked just like the one from her dream. She knocked. A little old lady wearing dark clothes opened the door and said, "Please come in." Gerta went in and explained everything to the old lady. "I will help you," said the old lady. "Take this flute and play it next to the mill pond under a full moon," she said. She handed Gerta a beautiful golden flute. Gerta was puzzled, but I don't know how to play the flute, nor do I know which song to play. She said. The old lady replied, "Don't worry about that. The flute will take care of everything." Gerta left the cottage and went back to her hometown. Under the light of the next full moon, she sat down next to the mill pond with the golden flute. She looked at it and said, "Here goes nothing," and put it to her lips. To her surprise, she could play the flute and pretty well too. As she was playing, she noticed bubbles coming up over out of the water. Then she saw a head, then shoulders, and then feet. It was her stupid husband. They joyfully hugged each other under the moonlight, but things weren't over yet. The nixie was enraged that someone tried to steal her prize. She sent a wave to crash down on the two lovers. "Old lady, what do I do now?" cried Gerta. Just then, the old lady appeared on the top of a hill nearby. She waved a stick in the air, and the killer wave was dissipated. The hunter and his wife were saved. "Thank you so much. How can we ever repay you?" They both said to the mysterious old lady. The old lady smiled and said, "Don't mention it." The hunter and his wife lived happily next door to his parents for many years. And although the nixie's deal was now off, the miller had set aside enough money that he didn't have to worry about his retirement. They all lived happily ever after. Now it's time for the listening questions. Question one: Why did the miller make a deal with the nixie? A. He wanted a son. B. He wanted a new mill. C. He wanted a new wife. D. He wanted to save his milling business. The answer is D. Question two: Where does the old lady live? A. Next to the mill pond, B in the mill pond, C on top of a cliff, D with the miller and his wife. The answer is C on top of a cliff. Question three: 
What does the old lady give to the hunter's wife? A. A flute. B. A comb. C. A spinning wheel. D. A lot of money. The answer is A. A flute. Question 4. How do the hunter and his wife repay the old lady for her help? A. They thank her. B. They give her a golden flute. C. They pay her handsomely. D. They let her live in the mill for free. The answer is A. They simply say thank you. That's the end of today's short story. I hope you enjoyed it. Did you catch the interesting themes here and the lessons that the characters learned? The miller learned to be more careful with his money and the uh, hunter, his son, learned to be more careful about the mill pond. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.